Hello friends, this video on ratio and proportion part 10 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So now that we got a fair idea about ratio, let's understand what are equivalent ratios. Now sometimes what happens is we have different ratios but those different ratios they represent the same number. Confusing right? Let's look at this example. Let's say you have this boy who had two slices of pizza out of five slices. So that means how much did he eat? He ate two fifth of the pizza. Now here we have another boy who ate one slice of pizza out of five slices. So one slice of pizza out of five slices. So let's call him A and let's call him B. So in this case, if I ask you what is the ratio of the pizza eaten by A to the pizza eaten by B. So the ratio of pizza eaten by A to B. How would you find that? So A is to B would be 1 by 5 divided by 2 by 5. So this is equal to 1 by 2 which is equal to 1 is to 2. So this would be the ratio of pizza eaten by A to B. So that is 1 is to 2. Now let us say that on another day, so this was on day 1, this much they ate this much of pizza on day 1. Now let's say on another day, on day number 2, what happened was A ate 2 slices of pizza out of 5 slices of pizza. So A ate 2 fifth of pizza. And how much did B eat? So B ate 4 slices of pizza out of 5 slices of pizza. So this is on day 2. So on day 2 if I ask you to find out the ratio of pizza eaten by A to B that would be equal to A is to B that is 2 by 5 divided by 4 by 5 that is 2 is to 4. Now if you compare these two ratio, on the day 1 the ratio was 1 is to 2, on day 2 it was 2 is to 4. But if you compare these two ratios you see that they actually refer to the same number. So 1 is to 2 means 1 by 2. What does 2 is to 4 means? It means 2 by 4 and 2 by 4 is not in its simplest form. So when you divide the numerator and the denominator by HCF you get 1 is to 2. So 2 is to 4 basically means 1 is to 2. So 1 is to 2, 2 is to 4, these are called equivalent fractions. That means though these fractions look different because in both these fractions you have different numbers make forming the fractions but they actually refer to the same number. So they are, they are equivalent in that sense. Now the question is how do we find the equivalent ratios like if we are given a particular ratio and we have to find out equivalent ratios of that ratio. So what do we do? That's pretty simple. We just multiply or divide the numerator and denominator by the same number. For example, you are given a ratio 1 is to 2 and you are asked to find equivalent ratio of 1 is to 2. So what will you do? You multiply both these terms by the same number like 1 is to 2 is 1 by 2. So you divide both the numerator and denominator by the same number. So it becomes 2 by 4 that is 2 is to 4. You can also multiply it by 3. So you get 3 by 6 that is 3 is to 6. If you multiply by 4 you get 4 by 8 that is 4 is to 8. So here 2 is to 4, 3 is to 6, 1, 4 is to 8. These are all equivalent ratios of 1 is to 2. Now sometimes if you are dealing with a bigger number, for example, you have something like 100 is to 50. So in that case, if you have to find out equivalent ratios of 100 is to 50, instead of multiplying by some number, because if you multiply, so the number becomes all the more big. So instead of multiplying here, you divide by the same number. For example, if you divide it by 2, you get 50 by 25. That is 50 is to 25. If you divide it by 4, what do you get? Or if you divide it by 5, so it becomes 20 and this becomes 10. So just 20 is to 10 and so on. 
so in this fashion again here also 50 is to 25 20 is to 10 100 is to 50 these all are exam these all are equivalent ratios so in this fashion by multiplying the numerator and denominator by the same number we can find equivalent ratios of a given ratio Thank you. Please visit examfear.com for free quality education. You can learn with a simple four-step learning process wherein you can watch video lessons, you can ask your questions, you can refer notes and you can take a free online test. We have content for class 6 to 12 on physics, chemistry, mathematics and biology along with practical videos. So please subscribe to our channel for daily updates. Thank you.